welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a very popular Turkish snack called lamajun. The recipe with the measurements is in the description box of this video. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Firstly, in a bowl, add in lukewarm water and lukewarm milk, followed by the yeast and sugar. Mix really well and then leave for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, add in the oil and then gradually add in the plain flour. I'm using a stand mixer for this, but you can also knead this dough by hand in a bowl. You then want to add in the salt and on a low speed, bring the water and flour together. Once the flour is combined, you can turn up the speed to medium and knead for around 5 to 10 minutes until smooth. The time will depend on if you're using a machine or kneading by hand. You can now see that the dough is nice and smooth and it's not sticking to the sides of the bowl. You then want to bring the dough together and remove it from the bowl. Grease the bowl with some olive oil. You then want to place the dough back into the bowl and apply a little bit of olive oil on top as well. Cover and leave to rise for a couple of hours. Meanwhile you can start to prepare the meat mixture. Chop a red chilli in half and then remove the seeds. This is optional, you can keep the seeds as well. You then want to make thin strips of the chilli and then dice into small pieces. For the lama jun, you want the vegetables as small as possible. You can also do this in a food processor, however, I prefer doing this with a knife. Once you've diced the chilli, just go back over with the knife to make the pieces even smaller. Keep a separate bowl for the chopped vegetables and keep on adding into this bowl as you chop. I'm now going to do the same with the green bell pepper. I'm firstly making really thin slicing, dicing and then going back over the knife to make the pieces even smaller. I'm now doing the same with the red bell pepper. If you are going to be using a food processor, just make sure that you don't end up creating a paste with these vegetables. You still want to see visible pieces. Before chopping the tomatoes, you want to remove the seeds and flesh. If you don't do this, you will end up with a lot of liquid in your mixture. As you can see from how I've chopped the tomatoes, you want to make sure that it's this small. Once you've placed all the chopped vegetables into the bowl, if you've got any extra liquid, just remove this. It's okay if you've got a little bit left, you still need a bit of moisture in the mixture. You then want to place the lamb mince in a bowl and then add in the salt and pepper, hot paprika powder, chilli powder and chilli flakes, sumac, coriander powder, minced garlic, ground onions and ground chilies. red pepper paste, tomato puree, and the finely chopped vegetables from earlier on. And finish with some chopped coriander and chopped parsley. You then want to knead all these ingredients into the lamb mince really well. Once everything is mixed in, add in the oil and mix well. This will help to spread the mince onto the flatbread. Cover and leave in the fridge until later on. 
For the salad, you want to mix the sliced red onions and tomatoes and add in the sumac and mix really well. You then want to add in some whole parsley leaves. You can also chop this, but I prefer to do this for decoration purposes. You then want to leave aside until serving. After a couple of hours, uncover the dough and empty out onto a clean worktop. You now want to knock back the dough and knead for around one or two minutes. You then want to divide the dough into equal portion sizes. You can create whichever size you want, just make sure they're around the same size. You can weigh them to make it easier. I've done medium sized lamajun which used around 130 grams of dough. Once you've weighed each piece of dough, form into a smooth ball shape. I've got some extra dough left over so I'll also be showing you how you can make some smaller size lamajun. Once you've made all the dough balls you want to leave these covered for around 10 minutes to rise a little again. After 10 minutes you want to grab the first piece of dough ball and then you want to roll each of these out really thinly as possible. Whilst I'm rolling this dough out, I've also got a non-stick pan preheating on a very low heat. Once you've rolled the dough out, you want to place this onto the non-stick pan. Make sure to keep it on a very low heat and then start spooning on the mince mixture that we made. It's up to you how much mixture you want to put on. Some people like less, some people like more, so it's really up to you. Then using your fingers or the back of a spoon, you want to spread this mixture on. You kind of want to press down lightly so the mixture sticks onto the bread. Whilst the bottom of this bread is cooking, I'm going to cover the top so the mince mixture can start cooking. You then want to uncover after one or two minutes and check the bottom is cooked. I'm then going to place this under a high heat grill for the top of the mince mixture to cook. You only need to place this under the grill for literally one or two minutes as half the mince is already cooked whilst on the pan. You then want to remove this and then repeat this whole process again for the rest of the dough balls. You can also make these in the oven. If you preheat the oven to the highest gas mark as possible, you can then place these onto a pizza tray and cook for around five to six minutes in the oven. For the mini size lamajuns, you want to roll this the same way as the bigger ones. The only difference with making these mini lamajuns is that you'll have to be really quick when placing the meat on as obviously it's very thin and small so it will cook quicker from the bottom. I'm going to serve these with the salad we prepared earlier on and some freshly squeezed lemon. If you like this recipe, make sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Make sure to press the bell notification so you can be the first to be notified about all my upcoming videos. You can also follow me over my Instagram and Facebook page. The links are in the description box of this video.